are turned in here tonight. That is what they will be. EA Sports. It's in the game. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading a right. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of Spokane, Washington, Grandmaster. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Ready? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Head kick blocked. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Lee gets hit with a kick. Real sneaky body kick. Miss with that jab attempt there.
big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Got the single collar tie. Connects with a right. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Just misses there with the left. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Big punch lands over the top. I'll just gonna follow this one. All right, so there's the takedown game on display, all set up though by the hands this time. It has to be set up. You cannot just take blind takedown attempt. You can't just shoot. You gotta set your opponent up. You did that beautiful. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Lee gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Wow, what a kick, huge kick lands. The uppercut flails and misses. Can't take many of those, you better check. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Big punch land. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. It's such a fast leg kick. Do not back up. Let's go and he landed the right hand there. Very tricky. Hand is true, that will absolutely work. He throws it like he pistols back and forth. He's landing that beautiful left hand. Over and over, he's landing with big body kicks. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Just missed with the left there. Big punch lands through the middle. 20 seconds left. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big kick lands. Ooh. Wow, huge head kick. Round two winding down. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Lee gets caught with that punch. Right under the elbow. Well, 
while he's been pretty accurate tonight, he's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Punch is blocked. Leg kick, well tied too. Leg kick after leg kick after leg kick. Wow, what a head kick. Now they're both throwing with power. I don't cut either. Oh. Lee's kick to the body, that one blocked. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Gets up again here, but Hurton, all right, working inside the closed guard now, working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Under two minutes to go in the round. Well, he's got his back now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Those punches to the body are really starting to take its toll. Just missed on the front kick there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Whip. This fight's going to go. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience. With that. Yes, I do. Horrible. They continue to exchange. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. So there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again.
All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in the round. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice strike. Big head kick lands. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Ooh, blocks the shot. Big head kick lands. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his chin into his opponent. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. He looks like Pac-Man. He's taking so many strikes to the head. and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 33 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Grandmaster. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? This is going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight. Yeah, right.